What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. Please do me a favor. Hit that like button. And if you get anything from this content, consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. I really do appreciate it. Let's jump into the video. So I want to tell you about what happened yesterday. My sister, my nephew, and my nephew's wife went to town. My nephew's wife went to go get her nails done. My nephew was sitting in the car. My sister decided she wanted to go in the Smoothie King and get a smoothie. So she goes in and there's this guy and he's sitting on the bench beside her. And he's talking, you know, asking her, was she there alone? Was somebody else coming? Weird question. She felt uncomfortable. So she got up and went up to the counter to start to order. Well, when she got up there and she started trying to order, this guy comes up, pulls out a gun and tries to rob her tells her to get on the floor, lay on your face, whatever, and he's pointing the gun at the cashier, telling the cashier to give him all the money in the register. The cashier's just laughing. She thinks it's a joke. She thinks she's being pranked. She doesn't realize that this is really happening. So she's just laughing. She's not giving him the money. He gets frustrated. He turns around. He points the gun at my sister. He robs my sister and makes her give him her wallet, right? Apparently, she only had like $20 in cash, but he took her cards and everything. He took her whole wallet. Then, he points the gun back at the cashier. Tells the cashier to give him the money again. This chick is still laughing. Like, really, not taking the situation seriously at all. Now, there's an argument here that maybe she was just in shock, right? I mean, we like to use shock. So, maybe she was just in shock, and that's why she was laughing. Like, I can't believe this is really happening. But the guy turns the gun back to my sister, points it at her head, and tells the cashier, give me the money or I'm going to blow her brains out. The cashier keeps laughing about it, telling him he's playing, telling him quit playing. He could have killed my sister. So then, luckily, he just decides it's time to go and dips out the door, goes out across the parking lot. Remember, my nephew's sitting in the car, right? So my nephew sees this guy run out of Smoothie King. He didn't know anything had happened. He sees the guy run out of Smoothie King, go behind Starbucks and get into his car, drive away. Now it's important to mention right here that that Starbucks, Smoothie King, this little shopping center, it's right off the interstate. Like the interstate is 30 seconds away, right? So this guy, he can make a break for it. My sister calls the cops. Then she calls her husband. Now, her husband, my brother-in-law, he's the commission chairman for our county, right? He's been the commission chairman for a while, so he's got pretty good power with the county, right? He calls the sheriff personally, tells the sheriff what happened. So the sheriff comes out personally to deal with this robbery. They go and they're talking through, they find out what happened. My nephew tells them, yeah, I saw him, he come out, he got in this gold car, like a Honda or something like that gets in it right behind Starbucks and leaves. So the sheriff then goes over to the Starbucks because there's a camera pointing exactly where that guy was parked. And he says, I need to see the footage on that camera. The person that was parked there just robbed somebody at gunpoint at Smoothie King. And we need to identify him and try to catch him, at least get his tag numbers and stuff so that we can put out an APB and find him, right? The Starbucks manager wouldn't give him the information, wouldn't give him the video, wouldn't let him even look at it. Said he had to go get a warrant, a court order to get this video from Starbucks. Come on, people. This is somebody who just robbed a store right beside your store. You don't want to help? You can't put yourself in the position of the people that were in that store. You're going to make the sheriff, not just any cop, but the elected sheriff, of the county go get a warrant so that he can come back and get the video when you're 30 seconds from the interstate and that guy could be gone he could be in tennessee in 10 minutes he could be in south alabama in an hour make it make sense people make it make sense what's up with the cashier laughing the whole time i mean i get it you don't believe that it's really happening i get that but when the person's pointing the gun in your face, when the person's pointing the gun at a customer's head, 
That money in that register is not worth it. Give them the money. When the police come and they say somebody was just robbed at gunpoint at this store right beside yours. And we need the video so we can catch this person. So this person doesn't end up coming back and robbing you. Why would you not give over the video? Why would you not at least let them look at it so they can get the tag number off the car? Why? What's wrong with the world? I just wanted to share this with you guys because to me, it's mind blowing. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more. Hit that notification bell so you'll get notified anytime I post. Have a great day and we'll see you later.